You can see a Sopus lighthouse over there. What would you like if you weren't living at the Bruderhof? Um, well, I think I'd probably enjoy more free time, although I actually am not quite sure if I would have more free time. I can't really imagine living outside of a fellowship of people where I've committed myself to. Um, I think it would actually be really unnatural. Um, because when you love your brothers and sisters, you don't want to be separated from them, um, yeah. even if challenges do come along. You grew up with that, so it's so natural for you to be there, like all the things that might sound difficult to other people, like having breakfast at 6 a.m. or two meals a day. You've just been brought up with that, like apart from having committed to that, you know the lifestyle from very early on. You grew up in the Bruder, Bru yeah. Bruder community. I don't think, yes, it might, it probably is easier for me because I grew up on the Bruderhof, um, but I do believe that what, if, if, for people who, who come, you find such a love for mm -hmm. brothers and sisters and such a love for Christ that you will do anything for them yeah. despite the difficulties. Yeah. So like, I actually think that the love part is the important part. I don't know if that makes sense. So can I ask you what you think you would like about living on the Bruderhof? I love community. I love other people. I love to be aware of being supported by other people and support other people. To, like what you said earlier, the responsibility you have for one another and that you're aware of that and that you can count on other people. It was a really nice, I like telling stories, this is probably going to be really long, but um, I, I switched families while I was there and my second family was a family who had a lot of small children and one fell off the swing set and bit through the lip and a lot of blood everywhere and within Five minutes, there were people around to take care of the other children, to uh, somebody called the doctor on the campus, Bruderhof, blah. Um, and like, within minutes, everything was tried to be sorted out and everything was like, not fine for the kid. Um, but like, people took care of everything. And I like that, that to know if something happens, the people around me will notice and it's in a way not something surprising if somebody reacts on my needs. So what do you, what do you like about living at the Bruderhof? That's a, that's a good question. But ultimately for me, it's not what I like about the Bruderhof that's at all important. Um, what's important okay. is the vision that's called us together and I believe that God wants justice, equality, and forgiveness, and love to be lived out today on this earth between people. So um, we pray, thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. But then we need to do our part. I'm not remembering if you said that or if I just made that up, that um, if you can't identify with this vision, it gets really hard after a while to live at the Bruderhof. Um, to like, to not only go to community for the sake of community, but for the sake of God. It is true. You need, you need a vision as to why you live this life. Because eventually, after a while, in any situation where you live, even if it's, you know, far away, you, you will, event, you need something to live for, right? And yeah. for me, yeah. I found that, that living here in community is and, and living for God's kingdom, it that's, gives me purpose, it gives me hope, it gives me more than just myself and my family and all the small little things that come along in life. You know, those can really get you down and, and you can get really discouraged and kind of pessimistic even. But then when I think about this goal, this vision, why I'm here, because it's for Jesus, it's for his kingdom, then, then it works out. <laughs> 
But if I was here just for the sake of community, yeah, it would be a pain in the butt. I would not be here if it was just for community. <laughs> I can promise you. <laughs> I find it really interesting to hear that because for me, community in just for the sake of community sounds so appealing um, that it, it just Maybe I romanticize it in my head that I'm like, oh, this is the most beautiful thing you could do with your life, living your life with other people to whatever level. Um, but then what what are you going to do when you run into problems? How are you going to deal with that? You, you kind of need to yeah. have something to come back to. What are you founding on? I think if you want to live in community, you can find this, but I get more and more aware of that it's not as simple. And, you know, and especially if you get people with very, very strong characters, there there can be a lot of friction. Yeah. I really, about these, like, living together things, I really, I think I'm a natural, tidy person. But if I'm living yeah. with somebody who isn't tidy, I'm like, yeah, okay, then we're not tidy, who cares? Yeah, but what if they started spilling their stuff into your space or started, their friends started sitting on your bed or entering your personal space? I mean, that would probably drive you crazy, right? Yeah, I think that's quite, like, um... Still, I'm really romanticized about the fact that if you talk about things, they can be solved. But I'm not sure if that's really working. Yeah, sure. Talking gets you to a certain point, but it, you, it, it's going to have to go deeper at some point. Yeah. Yeah. Because we're all humans. We're all, I mean, selfish and, and stubborn often. And I think if you, like, I don't know if you, if you had that too when you were a child or a teenager, that you could be perfectly polite to other people, but it gets really hard with your own family. And oh, yeah. that your mom, your brother, whoever does something, and somebody else like me would do the perfectly same thing to you, and with me you wouldn't care, and with your family you go, just like, why did you do that? Yeah. And yeah, exactly. I think with like living together, it's sort of the same thing, that I'm now, like when I meet other people and they're like, oh, my flatmate always does this and this. And I was like, oh, I wouldn't care about that. And then when you actually live with these people and you see them throwing away their shoes every single day and you're like, why can't you put away your shoes? Yeah, exactly. That's exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh. But it is awesome. And you've seen, you've definitely seen the positive things about living in community. Yeah, yeah, I, I really loved it.